Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Prisons are designed with the sole intent of keeping criminals behind bars, but sometimes the criminal is a bit craftier than the institution housing them. Attempting a prison break is dangerous and could cost an inmate their own life. But for this list of prisoners, that risk was worth taking on multiple occasions. Number 10, John Dillinger. Before he became public enemy number one, Bank robber John Dillinger escaped the clutches of the law by escaping from prison twice. Though his first prison term ended amicably, Dillinger immediately took back to his life of crime and was arrested again over conspiring to break out former fellow inmates Harry Pierpoint and Homer Van Meter out of prison. Dillinger would find his way out of the Lima, Ohio jailhouse he was housed in when Pierpoint, having previously escaped Indiana State Prison, posed as an officer to visit Dillinger and, in a panic, gunned down the sheriff guarding Dillinger. After a spree with his new gang, Dillinger was picked up, this time for the death of Officer William Patrick O'Malley. Though the prison he was held in, Crown Point, was said to be inescapable, Dillinger escaped by using a wooden gun he had carved and colored black with shoe polish. Number 9. Pasco Payette This French prisoner not only escaped prison twice, but he did so with the same panache as a villain in some big-budget action movie. After participating in an attack in 1997 on a Banque de France that left a guard dead, Payette was arrested two years later and sentenced to a prison in the village of Lines. On October 12, 2001, Payette escaped the confines of the prison via a hijacked helicopter. Payette was picked up again in 2003 after rescuing former fellow inmates he had served with in 1999 via another planned helicopter escape. The crafty escape artist spent four years under close surveillance in solitary before yet another daring helicopter escape was staged by four masked men during the Bastille Day celebrations. In September of 2007, Payette was picked up for the last time and sentenced to 15 years in prison. Number 8. Alfred George Hines Neither Nottingham Prison nor the Chelmsford Prison in Great Britain could hold famed British prison break artist Alfred George Hines. Hines's breakouts weren't just to free himself from the prison system, but to give him a chance to prove his innocence of the jewelry theft he was arrested for. Hines escaped Nottingham by picking a locked door and climbing over the prison's 20-foot wall. He was picked up 248 days later, which prompted him to file a complaint against the arresting officers, sparking a hearing at the law courts in London, which he evaded by locking his escorts in the bathroom. His freedom was short-lived, and he was promptly thrown in Chelmsford Prison, where he spent one year before breaking out one last time. Number 7. Willie Sutton from December of 1932 to February of 1947, bank robber Slick Willie escaped from prison on three different occasions. The first two escapes were at Pennsylvania's now abandoned and spooky Eastern State Penitentiary, while his final break was at the Philadelphia County Prison. Sutton's most infamous and second escape from Eastern State came with the help of inmate and plaster worker Clarence Kleindienst and Kleindienst cellmate William Russell. The two burrowed a tunnel from the wall of their cell out to Fairmont Avenue, an endeavor Sutton would take credit for upon his capture minutes after the attempted escape. His first and third escapes were far less dramatic, having scaled the prison's walls using ladders that had been strung together. Number 6. Stephen J. Russell Spawning a cute movie starring Jim Carrey and Ewan McGregor were the three prison escapes performed by con artist Stephen Russell. Russell wasn't known for being violent, and the only thing fueling his desire to leave prison was his love for Jim Kemple, who had been diagnosed with AIDS. Unwilling to risk not being with his lover prior to his death, Russell first broke out of Harris County Jail in Houston, Texas in 1992 by posing as an undercover police officer. After Kemple's death, Russell met and fell in love with Philip Morris. Russell wound up back in prison for fleeing while on bail from an insurance fraud charge. Dressed as a doctor, Russell was able to walk right through the prison's front door to be with Morris. His last escape lasted 10 days before being picked up once more. Russell's final escape from prison proved to be his most elaborate as he faked late stages of AIDS, going so far as to lose a dangerous amount of weight. After contacting a hospice impersonating a prison doctor, 
Russell had himself admitted into a false treatment and later declared himself dead. If not for his love for Philip, Russell may have been able to stay out of prison indefinitely. Number five, Richard Lee McNair. Convicted felon Richard Lee McNair was 29 years old when he was picked up for murder, attempted murder, and burglary. McNair's initial escapes from Ward County Jail and North Dakota State Penitentiary in 1988 and 1992 were a little less impressive than his 2006 breakout. After his first two escapes, McNair was arrested once again and placed in a federal maximum security prison. In his time there, he had been working in the prison's Unicor Division, repairing mailbags. Using a package of repaired mailbags and a small breathing tube, McNair was able to stow away aboard a pallet that was to be delivered to a nearby unguarded warehouse. Number four, Jack Shepard. 18th century London. Jack Shepard was a famed robber, thief, and burglar that faced multiple prison terms. In 1723, Shepard was sent to New Prison in Clerkenwell for pickpocketing. Using an old fairy tale method of tying bedsheets together, Shepard lowered himself with fellow inmate Bess Lyon. Back in prison in 1724, with the help of Bess Lyon and a fellow prostitute, Maul Maggot, who acted as distractions, Shepard escaped through an opening he created by filing away at the jail prison's spikes. Shepard's final escape is also pegged as his most famous. Within the walls of the Newgate prison, Shepard was able to slip out of his handcuffs, pick the padlock that held him chained to the floor, and climb to the roof of the prison. From the roof, using a blanket from his cell, Shepard slid down to a neighboring home and escaped. Number three, Yoshi Shiratori. Yoshi Shiratori's ability to escape from four different prisons in Japan earned him the title of Showa Ira's escape artist. Shiratori was first picked up in 1933 under suspicion of murder and robbery, and when prosecutors sought a death sentence, Shiratori escaped by picking the lock on his handcuffs. He was recaptured shortly after and was given life in prison, a sentence he had no intention of fulfilling. After being incarcerated in Abashiri prison, The master escapist used miso soup to wear down his handcuffs and rust the inspection hole in his door. Finally, after injuring a man that later died, he was arrested and placed in Sapporo prison to be executed. Using a sharpened piece of sheet metal, he sawed through the floorboards of his cell. Though he was arrested once more, the murder accusations were dropped and Shiratori was given a 20-year prison sentence, which he served. Number two, Moondine Joe. With five escapes under his belt between Great Britain and Australia, Moondine Joe forced the government to build a specialized cell just to hold him. Legally known as Joseph Belitho Johns, Joe's criminal career started with burglary, for which he served the full 10-year sentence. In the years that followed, from horse theft to robberies, Joe was arrested five additional times, and each time he crafted a means of escape. On his second to last capture, the governor was adamant that Joe receive a special inescapable cell. He promised that if Joe could escape, he would be pardoned. Of course, Joe found a way out by breaking at the wall of the prison. Despite the arrangement, Joe was picked up in 1867 for stealing wine and had his sentence increased until the new governor caught wind of the broken deal. Joe was freed by the legal system in 1871. Number one, Brian Bo Larson. Though it may seem easy to escape prisons due to the poor conditions of the buildings and moral ambiguity of the employees, one inmate escaping over 20 times is an impressive feat. After being picked up for armed robbery, Larson was sentenced to seven years in prison. In 2005, Larson made his first escape with help from workers from Waste Collection Services. After every escape, he was caught and brought back in, only to continue the vicious cycle. Utilizing saws to cut through bars and rope to climb down from his prison window, Larson was adamant about being on the outside. On December 22, 2014, Larson was caught after his 22nd escape. For some reason, we don't think this will be his last escape. Like these top 10 videos? Subscribe by clicking the annotation here and give our video a like. 
and share the link for this video with all your friends on your favorite social media sites. Have an idea for a future top 10? Leave a comment in the section below.